hi welcome to spring mbc tutorial series in this video i am going to explain about CRUD operation with spring hibernate and rest api so spring is well integrated with rest api as well we can perform any types of operation with the rest web services with very less configuration okay so i'm using this project uh, spring hibernate integrations as a reference so this project I have created in my last couples of videos to recap in this project I have created a DO ser service and controller layer with Spring MBC so where I have performed the Spring Hibernate integration and also a CRUD operation so in this project I have configured the Hibernate with Spring okay so in the root context.xml file that is present inside the apps sublet folder inside web.inf folder so in this file I have configured the hibernate configuration with spring okay so here I have configured the data source so this is the data source I am using mysql so here I have configured all the details record for mysql and I also configured the session factory which is required for integration of Hibernate with Spring here I am referring the data source and I am actually here I am giving the entity classes which are required which we are creating for DB operations so I have created a user entity and these are the Hibernate configurations where I have added the dialect and other properties okay so if you see the package hierarchies I have created a DO layer so inside DO layer I have created the interface which we are actually implementing in the service layer okay so this in this interface I have created a create update delete cat operation okay and in the service class I have created a user service class which have all CRUD operations so there I am actually auto wiring the session factory and I am using session factory for all operation like create, update, delete and get operation okay so I am going to use this project for REST API integration okay so if you have not seen my last couples of video related to Spring Hibernate integration and CRUD operation please check those video first you can get all those video from my channel just go to just click on crack java button on the bottom of video you are watching after that just select the playlist click on Spring MBC playlist so here you will find all the video related to Spring MBC so these are the Spring Hibernate integration and Spring Hibernate CRUD operation also just subscribe the channel such that you will get a notification once I upload a new video ok so let's get started so to perform a CRUD operation with REST APIs in Spring MBC we need to have this configuration so we need to add dependency in pom.xml file we have to provide Spring Web M MBC dependency which provide REST API supports so JSON API is used to send the uh, request and uh, send the response in the JSON format okay and modify the Spring version to 4.3.1 we are using old version 3.1 so we need to modify it to 4 to use the REST API support okay after that we need to create the REST services APIs for create update delete operation and I am going to use postman to test the REST APIs okay so let's get started so first we need to add the dependency into pom.xml file okay so I already have those dependencies before that just change the spring version and add the Jackson dependency okay so these are the two dependencies which are required so let's copy this into dependency section 
okay save the file so now we need to create the web service controller okay just create a new class as rest service controller okay file is created so in to make it rest controller we need to use rest controller annotation okay to perform the CRUD operation we need to auto wire the user service first okay so user service class have all the method implemented to for the create update delete operations okay so we can use this class so let's auto buy this so this is user service class okay this should be user service let's import the class now to perform a get request get rest request we can use get mapping annotation okay so let's import this here we need to pass the URL so let's say the URL URL is get users okay let's create a function so this function should return a response entity okay so let's say this is a get users function Okay, let's import the package okay now let's return a response entity okay so this should return a list of user okay, there should be a list of users okay so here we need to pass user service dot get okay so here we can use http status dot okay okay let's import the package should be user service let's import this as well So this should be new response entity. Okay. So now let's create a mapping for save request. So this should be a post mapping to save the user. Okay, let's import this. So this should be save call. Okay. So in the save call we need to pass the this request body. So in the request body we have to pass the user. Okay, so let's say this is a user that we are getting from request body. So let's import this. Okay, so here let's save the user into DB. So we can call the create method. So this should be a user. Okay, here we will be getting the user. Okay, now let's create a rest mapping to delete the records. Okay, so this should be a get mapping. Okay, let's change this to delete. And here we need to pass the ID to delete the particular user based on the ID. Okay, let's modify the function this should be delete user and here to get the ID from the path so we are getting a dynamic ID here so we for that we need to use path variable annotation okay so in the path we are getting ID so it's an integer ID okay so now let's create a user object equal to new user so let's set the ID for user. So okay. So now we can call user dot 
delete so, okay so let's check the delete function so here it is getting the ID from the user object and it will be it will delete that particular user okay so now at last let's create a update operation to update the user so here we have to pass in the request request body we have to pass the user so it should be a request body okay here we have to pass user let's change the function to update user so this should be update user okay so here we have to call the update function so update will update the user okay okay so let's modify this uh, the calls we can make it to save user and this should be delete user and this is update user okay and this should be put for update we should use put operation okay let's change this to put mapping okay so now the controller is ready so all the rest apis for CUD operation is ready now we can test this on server so just run this on server and for testing i'm using postman so you can get it f just click just search postman for chrome just click on first link here you can you just add this to chrome plugin so i already have this okay so let's run this on server okay the application is starting now now let's open the postman okay let's first create the user so we have a save user request to create the user okay so this is a post mapping so let's check the rest mapping so for save user we are using post mapping and the response request body we need to add the user okay so let's check this so this let's change this to post mapping okay and header the content type we need to select the application json okay so in the body we have to pass user so we don't need id to so let's change this to abc and let's say the password is password123 okay so let's click on send okay so now let's check the dv so the DV, the record is inserted into the dv now let's add one more value to the database so let's say this is xyz password one two three okay let's send this and now let's check the DV so we have two records inserted into the DV okay now let's check the get mapping so it's a get users call so which is a get call okay just click on send so we are getting the response we are getting both of the user in JSON format now let's update this so for update we are using put okay so in the body we have to pass the user which we want to modify so for that we need to provide the id okay so id let's provide as one so for first user we are modifying this to triple a and this to triple b Okay, let's check the error okay we have to the comma we are missing here let's click on send so now it is it has modified the record let's check the details now the first record is modified okay so the update operation is working fine now let's test that delete user okay let's delete the user here we need to provide the id so id so it should be a get request let's click on send okay let's check the DB so the first record is deleted now let's delete the second record 
okay let's check the DV so both of the records are deleted so the CUD operation with the REST API is working fine so in this way we can add as many as APIs into the REST controller so that's all for this video I will share the this project link for the code in the description of this video and I will also share the link for the previous last videos Spring Hibernate integration and Spring Hibernate CUD operations in the description of this video so thanks for watching see you next video bye bye